Okay, so we are graphing piecewise functions, and you can actually graph these on your graphing calculator. Now, you also have the option of just graphing each normally and then just going, okay, I don't really need this chunk. Certainly, that's a simple way to do it, um, and it's probably a little bit easier, but you can also graph them completely on the graphing calculator. So, this is my graphing calculator, and I'm going to start by going to my y equals, and I'm going to start by putting in the first function. So, I'm going to do parentheses x squared minus 8 parentheses. Now what I'm going to do is in another set of parentheses, I'm going to put in this restriction. So in this case, x. Now I need to get the greater than or equal. So I'm going to go to second math, which is the test function here. And you can see down here, number 4, that's going to give me my greater than or equal sign, parentheses. Oh, put in the 0 first and then the parentheses. Now this is the first one. To add the second one, I'm going to just put in a plus sign. And now I'm going to, in parentheses, put in the second one. Negative x. Make sure you use a negative, not a subtraction sign. So you put in a subtraction sign, this will air out. It took me 15 minutes to figure that out earlier today when I was practicing these. So um, make sure you use the negative sign down here. It'll make your life easier. Plus 5. So just so you don't think you're the only ones who make silly mistakes, 15, 20 minutes on why this won't work. Okay, and then parentheses, my second restriction. So now x, and again, I'm going to go to the second math, the test function, and now I need the less than, so that's number 5. And, oh, I don't, I, I don't want to put in that 0 ever, do I? And parentheses. Now I simply go to graph, and it's graphed piecewise my function for me. Um, and uh, one thing I did change on here is if I go here to mode, I changed to the dot versus the connected. For piecewise, this will show you anything specific um, as we go in closer here. So um, if I zoom, say I want to zoom in here, um, this will be more likely to, sh th this will show you where it skips better. And that's the only reason you do that. Um, so now I look here, and I need the one, let's see here. Looks like I need A. I'm just comparing graphs. Check my answer. So you can see here, you could simply do them by yourself, and you could figure this out, because obviously if you graph both of these. Um, so if I went back here, cleared this out, and I simply put in x squared minus 8, and then... Negative, again, still remember the negative, negative x plus 5, and I graph them both on the same axis. It would be pretty easy for me to go, okay, well, I break it 0, so I need this half of this one and this half of this one. So it's whichever one you want, but it is possible to graph the exact piecewise function on your graphing calculator.